Alright guys, after that tea making scenario. Hot. So this is my eight part series. This is the fifth video of the bike build. If you haven't seen the other four videos, I'll leave a link in the description. So I'll just recap what I did. Uh, added this curved section on the frame here so that it, the motor can fit. Um, added the motor mounts. Um, and then hooked up the throttle cable to the um, old shift linkage. And, um, bearing assembly inside of here with a smaller pulley coming down to the um, this pulley that's welded onto the wheel jack shaft coming over this large pulley right here comes around over to our tensioning device acts as a clutch and that attaches the engine clutch is here this brake still kind of works sometimes then we have our little light there it goes nice and so that's where we're at so far still need to paint the frame and clean everything up um, probably change up some gear ratios a little bit so it runs a little bit better my wood stove over here ooh wood <laughs> would you like to see my other projects get it over here is rail speeder with our other engine we bought. Um, when we bought this engine, this uh, guy just kind of gave us the smaller three horse Briggs and Stratton it's on the bike right now. Um, doesn't really want it. And so we ended up getting both for like 30 bucks or something. Uh, pretty sweet deal. Got our wheels over here for, for the rail speeder. Their front ones here. These are made from old brake drums and a tire inside. And you mount them onto these axles. You can wheel it on over to your location and start going down the railroad tracks. I found this super cool old gas can from Volvo. Um, in my neighbor's house, it was like abandoned, and then these people started cleaning it out because they were gonna try to sell it. So I snuck over there and managed to nab this one along with the bike. So don't tell my neighbor. Um, just getting up paid for the bike. Yeah, so let's get it running. Kind of a pain in the ass, but it's fine. I need two hands for this. Okay, don't go anywhere. Oops, wrong way. Oh, that's nice. Nope. There it is. You look at that view. Oh. That's not gonna work. Alright, you know what? You're going right here. Nope, not there. <laughs> Alright, hang tight. You're coming for the ride. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a bad idea. Alright, just one second. Oh, you look at that. Alright, let's go. Son of a bitch. Easy peasy. God. Lee. Okay, well. My phone died. So that's a really bright light. Oh my god. Punch it that way. Anyways. Put 
spark plug back on. Isn't that nice? It doesn't have brakes. Okay, let's go. Swear to God, if this thing doesn't. Okay, well, after about uh, 15 minutes of trying to get it started again, turns out I kind of used the wrong gasoline. Turns out the stuff that says Weed Whacker on it is for the Weed Whacker, not for my bike. So, stay tuned for episode 14 of this 10 part series and. Well, go for a Ripski. It's going to be pretty cool. As you can tell because I've got cool looking handlebars and cool looking wheels, the white on them. Cool. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys. Oh, and before I go, make sure to check in the description for the other parts of the series if you missed them. And hopefully I'll be able to um, do a driving video either tomorrow or the day after. Um, along with, in a couple of weeks, we'll be doing a... Oh, come on, phone. You can do it. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be doing a video on um, the rail speeder, putting the engine on, and driving it to the um, railroad tracks and testing it. So, stay tuned for that, and please subscribe. Bye.